All right, my friends, what's up? Happy Thirsty Thursday to all of you out there. And yeah, we have some things we need to discuss. We do need to get into Andy Cohen and his legal clapback to Leah McSweeney. Boy, oh boy, he is not taking this lightly. So we're going to dive into that. But first, we're going to jump right into, does Erica Jane have a new boy toy? And do we know who he is? Well, Daily Mail spotted this guy outside of her house a few times. We're going to dive into that. And it seems like Crystal is clapping back at Dorit and basically calling her a liar about why she was late to the reunion two hours. So we're going to jump into all of that in today's Daily Bravo Digest. Let's just jump right on in. Welcome to the Daily Bravo Digest, where I, Giorgio Takanakis from Giorgio Says, takes you through today's top Bravo celebrity stories, and I give you a quick synopsis so you don't have to go searching for the information yourself. So let's dive into today's hot topics. All right, my friends, so let's dive into the first story. It is Erica Jane. Yes, bet it all on Blonde. If you guys didn't watch the two-part special last night, you missed out. It was really, really good. I will be recapping it on the podcast. Tomorrow's episode will be all about bet it all on Blonde. At any rate, speaking of Erica Jane, she's been rumored to be dating a new boy toy but she's kind of talked about this and hinted at it previously when she was on two t's in a pod the only thing she mentioned was that he was younger and that he had brown skin and black hair now the daily mail did capture some photos of um his name is keith hodges and he is the owner of Mind in Muscle Coaching. Uh, but he was spotted outside of Erica's residence uh, two or three times, one of which the photos are showing him going into her residence but carrying in like bags from Target, like water. And I think the second one he was leaving and he was carrying like a, a takeout box of some sort. But yes, these two are rumored to be linked. And yeah, he is very fit. And maybe he's just her trainer. Maybe he's just become a friend of hers. But maybe she is dating him. And why shouldn't she? I mean, she's allowed to move on. Even though her divorce is not final, which really sucks to have to carry that last name when you're trying to move on. But yes, let me know your thoughts. Do you think this is a match made in heaven? Now, the other thing about this gentleman is that he has no plans of filming for Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So it seems like she's going to keep him private if they are, in fact, dating. But yeah, good for you, Erica. Seems like everything's on the up and up. All right, so now we need to get into the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills of it all. Yes, Dorit. And Crystal, yeah, Crystal had to clap back in the comment section of, I believe it was the Bravo Daily uh, Dish account had posted a clip from the reunion last week. But Crystal had mentioned on Jeff Lewis Live that Dorit was two hours late. Um, She did have a wardrobe malfunction. She had to get sewn into her dress. Um, But The funny part is that Dorit decided she wanted to basically say that Crystal was lying because she left a comment and the comment wrote or she wrote, what nonsense. Our arrivals were time stamped in the first reunion episode. Crystal's claim that I was two hours late to set because I was doing TikToks is nothing more than another bold faced lie out of her mouth. The entire cast and crew know that I had an unfortunate wardrobe malfunction with my dress The small zipper, which closes the dress, broke, and the brilliant wardrobe team that were hired had no choice but to had no choice but to sew me into the dress, which didn't take anywhere near two hours. My TikToks were filmed after the reunion. You can see it was dark outside. Well, Crystal decided she needed to come back and re-clarify because she's not going to be called a liar. Um, So she wrote back, sorry, but nope, those timestamps are wrong. Love you, Bravo. It's not dark at 7.30 a.m. And you don't leave the trailer at 10.30 and walk 15 steps. And it's all of a sudden 11.30. 
And we filmed the first segment without Dorit that began at 11.45 because Andy was getting restless, as were we. Stop the cap and just respect others' times. This is so crazy to me. And then, of course, because she didn't get to say much in part two of the reunion because nothing really happened with her this season. But Anna, Anna Marie chimed in as well, saying, at Dury Kemsley, what? Crystal lying? Shocker. Um, No one cares, Anna Marie. But yeah, so it seems that, you know, there's two versions of this story. Now, I do want to say that I'm going to believe Crystal here because I wouldn't go off of the timestamps that Bravo shows us because those are not always going to be correct. Like, sorry, they're just not. Um, I do believe that she probably takes the longest to get ready. We know Lisa Hochstein from The Real Housewives of Miami is very similar. She's been very late as well to the reunion previously. So um, I, I'm i not sure how many TikToks she filmed. I'm sure she did do some more after the reunion when she was still in her look. But I do believe she was doing TikToks while she was getting ready when the wardrobe malfunction was happening. I'm sure that there was stuff happening. So the I'm going to steer towards Dorit was rude and just made everyone else late. Um, but we need to get into the biggest story of today's episode, uh, which is Andy Cohen clapping back at Leah McSweeney's lawsuit, mainly the claim around him doing cocaine. So, and he's he's really not playing around, you guys. He really... Um, so TMZ broke the story initially, uh, when I read it, but his lawyer basically to quote TMZ, it says his lawyers don't mince words saying virtually everything, everything Leah said about Cohen in the lawsuit is baseless and false, but on the cocaine claim specifically, they write, we demand, these are in quotes, we demand that you immediately retract and withdraw all allegations relating to Mr. Cohen's purported cocaine use. If she doesn't, they say they're taking her to court. Andy's legal team continues, quote, to be clear, these allegations are categorically false. Mr. Cohen never used cocaine with any cast member on any Real Housewives show or with any other Bravo employee. The absence of any reasonable basis to make such allegations is confirmed by your pleading itself. Goes on to say, they point out there are no details included in her allegation here. Like I said, there have been no receipts, which they think points to her not knowing anything concrete because it's simply not true. Her attorneys say they believe Leah levied this salacious claim against Andy recklessly just to get headlines and potentially get a quick payday. I agree with this. I really don't think her story's adding up. Andy's lawyers end by saying, quote, the truth matters. Litigation cannot be used to create fake news, and it cannot be used as a vehicle to spread false and malicious lies in furtherance of, sh of a shakedown. We demand that you issue an immediate public retraction and apologize to Mr. Cohen. Every day, this is the kicker, every day you fail to do so only increases the damages suffered by Mr. Cohen, essentially saying each day you don't retract and apologize is each day you'll get hit with a new uh, amount of money that's going to be extracted from you in, in, in this countersuit because he will take it to court. I really think that he's not playing games and she really didn't do herself any justice if we're all going to be honest. Uh, there's no there's there's no basis to anything that's in those claims, but specifically the cocaine use, it didn't even it had nothing to do with her personally. At any rate, so if at best it's hearsay, which doesn't hold up. So, you know, technically this is defaming Andy's character and he has every right to, to protect himself and defend himself. So I'm team Andy on this one, but those are all the stories that I have for you guys today on this lovely Thursday. If you guys um, are watching the traders tonight, we're getting we're getting the reunion. So can't wait to see that play out. Um, but yeah, 
until the next episode, guys, let me know down below what your thoughts are on everything we talked about today. But I will talk to you guys on the next episode of the Daily Bravo Digest. Bye.